Good afternoon, everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce Russ Powers, President of the Association of Municipalities of Ontario and Ward Councillor for the City of Hamilton. First elected in 1982, Mr. Powers has served in municipal government for almost 30 years as a Dundas Town Councillor, then Hamilton Wentworth Regional Councillor, and currently as a Ward Councillor for the City of Hamilton. He has served on numerous civic, municipal, and national committees, including National Vice President of the Federation of Canadian Municipalities, and is currently President of the Association of Municipalities of Ontario. He has also served as a federal member of Parliament in Canada's 38th Parliament. Dundas, Ontario has been his hometown for more than 45 years. He attended Dundas District High School, Mohawk College, and the Royal Institute of Public Health and Hygiene, specializing in business administration and laboratory medicine. He was employed in the Faculty of Health Sciences at McMaster University for almost 30 years. Welcome, Russ. Thank you, David, for your kind introduction. Uh, I was employed at McMaster. No, they didn't terminate me. I retired. Uh, after 38 years in that, and uh, when you get to that point of being able to retire, boy, do you look forward to it. So thank you once again, David, for your kind introduction. One of the great privileges of being Amos president is that I get to travel across the province meeting with my colleagues in their unique communities, whether it's large urban to rural communities in all four corners of Ontario. I myself hail from the community of Dundas in the city of Hamilton. I want to thank OMSA for putting this important program together and for inviting me to speak to you today. AMO is delighted to be part of your annual conference, Human Services Integration in Practice, Realizing the Vision. Our organizations have together made great strides in recent years to communicate a shared vision of improved social policy and integrated human services. This effort is grounded by important foundational work harkening back to 2008, when our Joint Poverty Reduction Forum brought experts together to highlight the municipal role in poverty reduction. That partnership continues through to this day. Right now, AMO and OMSA representatives also continue to work together on implementing the recommendations of the Joint Provincial Municipal Fiscal and Service Delivery Review, which we completed with the province in 2008. Yet, there is still much work left to be done. As you are well aware from your work on the ground, there is a great deal of change underway in the way that municipalities will deliver social and human services in our communities. This is the result of a number of concurrent provincial initiatives underway, expected or recently completed. A number of these changes require significant effort to plan and manage community expectations on the ground you all will be at the forefront of that effort. Associations like OMSA and AMO have both had to ramp up to stay on top of these changes. OMSA ramped up by stealing Petra Wolfbeis from us. I don't think, I don't need to tell you that you have a Cracker Jack new policy director. AMO responded in kind by stealing Michael Jezik from the city of Toronto to fill her shoes. Bent strength is so important. In all seriousness, these moves are positive for us all. We are happy to see Peter move into that role that allows her to focus on what she loves and does best. And her arrival here provides a strong bridge between our two organizations. She will be the first one to tell you that Michael is a great addition to our team and that we have been able to maintain a solid, uninterrupted commitment to municipal social service matters. Together, we are managing dealing with changes to discretionary benefits and the elimination of the community startup and maintenance benefit. At the same time, we are anticipating potentially transformative changes to Ontario's social assistance in the wake of the release of the Social Assistance Commissioner's report on October the 24th. I can tell you that Emil had the opportunity to meet last week with the minister, and without giving away the uh, discussions that took place in that confidential, 
we indicated there was some really good things, some things that were long overdue in the 108 recommendations. But the delivery is another matter and that we need ask that they go a little slow, involve the appropriate groups, whether it's OMSA or AMO, to ensure that we get the best results from we believe is a far-reaching document. The province is moving forward with the housing programs consolidation and we are assessing the potential impacts while bracing for the challenge in your communities associated with the ending of the federal operating agreements for social housing. OMSA members are developing French service language plans to better serve Ontario's Francophone community. You are the cusp of a new emerging child care modernization initiative undertaken by the province. Much, much of this change is positive and will ultimately yield beneficial results for both municipalities and the province. However, AMO shares OMSA's concern about the pace and scale of change. I don't need to tell you that the system is very, very complicated. Right now, we have changes happening simultaneously at different ministries on matters that are connected, and I can tell you they're not talking to each other. They have absolutely no idea what the other one's doing, and as a result, when they do that, the results can be disastrous. So that's why we need to be intervening. That's why we need to be there and keep the eye on the ball to make sure that ultimately the desirable results evolve. In line with the theme of this conference, we need to make sure that these links are acknowledged and strengthened. If anything, we should have greater human service integration, not less. AMO is always quick to remind policymakers that this was the central thrust of the fiscal review process. We want to tear down silos, better integrate services, use limited resources more effectively and achieve better outcomes for those who need our support. From our blended perspective, AMO and OMSA are working with provincial ministries to look at human services as a package rather than as a menu of services. Specifically, we worked with the province to consolidate some of the housing and homelessness programs. Consolidation was welcomed by the province and we continue to work together to advise the province on implementation challenges and opportunities. There is much more work to do to move toward an integrated model for delivering employment services and more efficient ways of delivering assistance programs in Ontario. We have an opportunity to act on the report released just two weeks ago by the Commission for the Review of Social Assistance. And I repeat, the commissioners found that the system is not working well for recipients, administrators, including municipalities, and all Ontarians. They said it's too complicated, too confusing for recipients, and that it places an excessive administrative burden on administrators. It won't surprise you to hear that AMO and OMSA agree with their assessment. I believe the province does well. We have an opportunity to move forward with recommendations that make sense for municipalities, the province, and most importantly, for social assistance recipients who are among the most vulnerable residents in our communities. Ontario's municipalities are heavily invested in the delivery of social assistance. When the government is ready to move on any of these recommendations, AMO and OMSA should be deeply involved in that policy development. Our shared interest in, is that any potential changes are well planned, adequately resourced, and allow local flexibility to achieve success. AMEL is well positioned to convene working groups with ministry staff to explore potential implications of the recommendations. We will work closely with OMSA to assess potential impacts to municipalities and advise what will work well for social assistance recipients. Understanding the practical elements of these Commission's proposed changes is one of the lenses that we will use in reviewing the report's 108 recommendations. This will take time to get it right and we look forward to an engaged, thoughtful dialogue, and we want OMSA to be involved. We can help the ministry understand the reality on the ground and the municipal role in many other human service delivery models. From Ontario Works, to housing, to childcare, to public health, to name but a few. 
Again, we believe that integration of human services and holistic approaches are key to its possible success. This is true across the social and human services spectrum. We all want to reduce homelessness on a year-by-year -year basis with an eye to one day ending homelessness altogether. This can only be achieved through an integrated social and human service approach. Dealing with clients and programs in isolation won't get the job done. Improving and expanding access to high quality and affordable childcare for residents in our communities is key to removing barriers, enabling people to enter the labor force and earn a decent living wage. When you consider all this, we are working together to develop the most significant social policy changes that Ontario has seen in decades. This is a pivotal and exciting time. Of course, it's a pivotal time and exciting time for political pundits. We do not know what Ontario's legislature will look like within a year. We may not know what the United States looks like after tonight. An election is coming and we have to be ready for the prospect of new partners and policymakers. What will that mean to you and for the work that we are doing? The honest, honest answer is, I have no bloody idea. But AMO has been around for more than a century and it has seen many governments come and go during that time. We are prudent, practical, and nonpartisan. Our members include political active leaders of all party stripes. As such, we tend to pursue policies that will have broad support across the broadest of the political spectrum. If the government changes, will we be ready to state the municipal case to whomever we will be working with? We are pursuing policy changes that make social service delivery more efficient and successful. We are striving to get the better use of the limited tax dollars. And we are striving to achieve better outcomes for those who not only need our help, but who tend to draw even more heavenly on government assistance when they do not get that help. We are confident that we are pursuing the right policy direction and we believe it is compelling direction for whoever we are working with at Queen's Park a year from now. As I start at the beginning of my two-year term, this is the first time that I've spoken at an OMSA conference as AMO's president, but it's my sincere hope that I can come back before you again at your annual conference or other forums to celebrate our shared successes as we move forward together and further the vision and reality of integrating human services for the benefit of all Ontarians in various communities across this great province of ours. Emil is very pleased with what we have accomplished together with OMSA over the years and we look forward to continued partnership to improve human services in Ontario. I particularly want to acknowledge the relationship that's been developed between our executive director and OMSA's executive, Kira Hynek, an extraordinary pair of, of women who have provided leadership to your organization and our organization, but the understanding and the ability of the exchange of ideas and the networking that they've developed from the two of them, you just doubled the efforts between two great organizations. So thank you for the opportunity to join you in that and have a great conference.